Hey guys, welcome to my new video. I've been using Xiaomi Redmi 6 Pro. Also, Xiaomi has just announced the same phone, same specification, but again, the Android 1 version, which is called Xiaomi A2 Lite. It is a dual SIM device, and you can also install a SD card. So you can have two SIM card, plus you can have a micro SD card, which is something wonderful by Xiaomi. This is a Chinese uh, version, so I bought it from China. When you buy the phone from China, you don't get Play Store. I've recently made a video how to install Play Store. As you can see, it's running Play Store. It's very easy, just few steps and you can install the Play Store. On any Xiaomi phone, you buy from China. So this is the Chinese version, it is not a global version. So let's find out uh, what's cool about this phone and some tips and tricks. Kindly subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notified every time I post a new video. So let's start with the gestures. So the tip number one is the gestures. The phone is running MIUI 9.6 which is very iPhone 10 like. The gestures are very similar to how you use your iPhone 10. And it's not a bad thing because they're very smooth and very futuristic to be honest. So talking about the gestures, you can just go in the settings and type in gestures. So as you can see, you can either use the buttons, which will give you the classic navigation menu in any Android smartphone. But I prefer to choose the gestures, which is more futuristic, you know. To go back, you have to just swipe from the, see, the nice animation. Just you have to swipe to the left to go back. Again, same like how you do in iPhone 10. Or suppose you want to just go to the home screen, you just swipe up. It's very smooth. I have to you have to use the phone to know it's super smooth from any application. For multitasking, you keep and hold to see the multitasking menu. And to delete the application, just you click on the cross. So there is no apps in the background. The second tip I would like to give is the dual app support, which is, I think, is, is a must in any Android device nowadays. So you go back to settings, type in dual applications. So I have installed two WhatsApp account because it is a dual SIM phone. You can install more application this is given by Xiaomi but you can install to Facebook to Twitter's or as you like third tip I would like to give you is about the display setting so when you go to the display you have a reading mode option which is very good for night time you can see the brightness has become dim when you're reading something especially it's very usable when at the night time also you have the contrast and color this is by default the blue tone also you can make it warm same like iphone 10 it will give you some warm colors and i have to say the screen is pretty impressive so use these options it will be very handy double tap screen to wake so this is a very handy feature so when your screen is turned out double tap double tap to wake up the screen so the tip number four will be about the display sleep option usually it should be in the display setting but for some reason xiaomi has put it in the lock screen and password option. So you go to lock screen and password and you have the sleep option. You can choose any option, 15 second, 30 second, because it's 4000 mAh battery. So I don't mind putting it for never because sometimes it's irritating. You want to check something and your phone gets locked in 30 seconds or 15 seconds. Also the tip number five would be about the notification toggles. This is again a good thing that you can merge the notifications. So when you type a notification you have an option notification and toggle layout usually it's combined so combined basically means that whenever you swipe swipe your notifications it will give you both the options it will give you the notification panel as well as the if you have any whatsapp any message any notifications from any of your applications but again if you want you can segregate them you can choose separate so when you swipe down you will just see your notification messages not the toggles so this is again an option given by Xiaomi. Another small tip would be about the memory status. You can check the memory status in your home screen. Just go to the setting and type in home screen and recent. So there is an option you can choose show memory status or you can disable it if you don't want to see. 
So what will happen when you close any application? It will give you the exact memory what you have. Now 1.2 GB is available out of the 3 GB. So when you close it, it will refresh the memory status and give you now it's 1.4 GB available. Another tip is Xiaomi is giving you an option of second space on your device. So suppose uh, your family member or your relatives, suppose they are checking your mobile sometime. You can download your private pictures or videos or any private document in that, which is like a secret folder. So you go to the setting and type in second space click on that this is gonna change the look of your device completely protect your privacy absolutely risk-free so you can go to the second space you will see that now this is like a new screen as if you never used this mobile before this is something cool you can download your pictures or contacts or files in the second space see this is a neat home screen and to go back again to your standard device setting you can just use the fingerprint and it will take you to the normal to your main device another tip would be about the battery life a device has a good battery life and decent battery life but still suppose uh, you're running out of juice and you're traveling you're outside you can click on the battery and performance and there is an option of battery saver you can turn it on so it will consume minimum amount of battery you can see it becomes orange so this will save a lot of battery life for you in case if you run out of juice you can do that also most of the time you will see that maybe the MIUI version is using the most battery and the screen Xiaomi applications they are not using much uh, much of the battery they are idle but they are not using battery also you have an individual app battery saver so you can check on the individual application and you can restrict the background activity just to save some more battery life for example these application i am not using i can go individual application and restrict the background activity miui is always full of lots of gestures and shortcuts to make your task easy like for example you swipe three fingers to take a screenshot you can edit it also you launch the google voice assistant by long press to the home button also in the lock screen when you swipe left you have the torch you have the wallpaper option you have the me remote from the lock screen itself you can directly go to the me remote also if you have a me home setup you can add the devices so in terms of uh, options and features this device is full of features also since it's not a very big device actually it's very convenient to use one hand but still if you have a small hand it's giving one hand mode feature the classic one hand mode I'm not using the navigation buttons otherwise you have to just swipe left or right to do the shortcut for that if you want to use one hand mode but again it's a good option if you have small hand this device is very convenient for me to use in one hand but if you have small hand you can use this option for typing while driving or something also same like the second space there is an app locker so you can assign individual application password for example let's set the password to you can set up a pin number also you can set up your MI account so all these applications you cannot open without the password for example I have to go to the whatsapp I need to use the password to use the application same goes for gallery nobody can see my gallery or see my whatsapp so it's a, it's a good feature, you know, it's like for security, you can choose multiple application, a list of application, but, and you can remove the application if you don't want. But again, it's a very handy feature for security purpose. So I'm sure if you're using Xiaomi phone, you will be knowing about the quick ball setting. This is something very similar to what iPhone, they have assistive touch. So when you turn on the quick ball, you, you can see on the side, all these options going to the home screen and you can use it anywhere. You can keep it here and use it as a home screen shortcut so it's a very handy feature you can choose the gesture swipe or tap even you can show it on the lock screen but again something which we all know even you can change the applications or the shortcuts you can choose camera any anything of your choice camera google chrome i normally don't use it so i turn it off but for some people it can be very convenient and handy to use it also this part is very interesting because for this is not only for this device this goes for any xiaomi device you can click on the kernel version several times 
and you can check the diagnostic of the phone which is which is something very good i mean if you're facing any issue you can self diagnose what is the problem the most important things would be the led test and this is the most important if you are facing any touch screen issue can be very very handy to check in the beginning some part sometime does not touch screen doesn't work so in this test you can check whether your device touch screen is perfect or not because this is more like a hardware issue and only few manufacturer will give you another mobile if they find this is a hardware issue also you can click on the phone storage option for 10 time to get the phone information battery info usually these information are for the experts but if you are facing any issue with your phone you can self diagnose what is the issue also you can enable the developer option if you want to root your device or something to enable the developer option you can just click on the MIUI version just click on the MIUI version like for 10 time and you will become a developer few of the hidden features of this phone is like the phone supports fast charging 3.0 so if you use fast charging this phone will be fully charged from 0 to 100% within like 1 hour 1 and a half hour if you use the fast charging if you use the charger which comes with the box which is a standard charger the phone will take just over 2 hours to charge fully from 0 to 100 it's running snapdragon 625 which is easily compatible with any fast charger you can click here there is a playlist of videos i have made for this device you can watch all of them one small negative this phone has is about the battery percentage there's no option to enable the battery percentage there's something they have copied maybe from iphone 10 that when you swipe you can see the battery percentage but there is a very small icon so it's not very clear even if you go to the battery settings there is no option to to enable the numerical battery percentage battery level so when you go to battery status you can go to battery level but there is no option to enable it on your notification so something very similar from iphone 10 you only see these icon over here which is good but at the same time if you want to know exactly how your battery percentage is there is no option you have to either swipe and or you have to go to the battery level so both of them takes some time i really wish uh, xiaomi has put an icon over here for just the battery percentage little bit thicker or even this one is okay but it should be always on rather than this battery indicator over here it's not something which will bother everyone but i just wanted to share this so guys this was my take on this phone i have been using this phone for quite a while and i have made lots of videos i'm sure you can watch my playlist of videos about this phone and also you can ask me in the comments if you have any question about this phone i am quite happy with this chinese rom but for sure in future it will get the global rom so everything will be in english but for now i am quite happy with the chinese rom performance it's i'm getting updates regularly also i have installed the play store so there's no hassle xiaomi has also launched the same phone in the android 1 version which is the pure android version but again if you give me an option and ask me honestly i will choose mi ui version 9.6 or mi ui version 10 which is coming soon to this phone over any android 1 or pure android software because the kind of features xiaomi has given in the mi ui 9.6 and the mi ui version in general is much more advanced and much more fun to use the phone so i must say that xiaomi has done a decent job thank you so much for watching this video I hope these tips will help you using this device or any other Xiaomi device which is using 9.6 version of Mi UI. I'm soon expecting the Mi UI version 10 for this device which will be again fun to use. So once I will get the update I will make another video for that. Also I'll be soon making a video about the battery performance for this device. So stay tuned and kindly subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed it already. So see you in my next video till then goodbye peace out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Also click on the notification icon, the bell icon so you will constantly get updated with my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video till then goodbye